folks, welcome back to the channel, far more Envoy Stream here. Here we are, looking at all the new bots that has dropped so far this week, so I'm recording this on Thursday morning. So yeah, I'm going to cover the Star Room mod I missed on Monday, and all the mods that dropped yesterday. Didn't have time to do the mod review yesterday because I had to go out and out all day and that. And yeah, it's good to be actually finally making some proper normal videos again. But anyways, as always, thumbs up to be down below. So yeah, we're going to start off looking at the Stara. So this is the Stara Twister 1500 top. This is by Stara Brazil and eConnect Modding. 7.47 megabytes to download. Slot count is 6, goes down to 1. And yeah, essentially this is a fertilizer spreader and it says about it's a double disc hydraulic granular fertilizer and fine seeds however this ain't a seed spreader or anything like that but i think that's because the star twister 1500 in real life can do spreading off fertilizer and seeds so what i'm gonna do first of all is get us hooked up so hop into our vent Get us hooked up and then we'll have a look in store. So, yeah, this is a nice little bit of a cracking bit of kit, sis. So, there we go, hooked up. So, first of all, there is just wait a bit. So, 36, 30, 24. Apart from that, there is nothing else. You can just raise and lower it. There's no lights or anything on it. And you can find this under tools and furrows spreader. Go towards the end. And yep, yeah, six slots goes down to one. 16,500 to buy, 1,500 year capacity, 390 kilograms in weight, and a working speed of 11 miles an hour. And there is no configurations on this whatsoever. But yeah, so without further ado, enter the field, turn on the spreader, and but yeah, it's a fair nice a big kit. I do love it to discipline animation at. Good quality, little bit of detail. So, yeah, we're going to drop that. Just a little quick demo in action. And, yeah, I have the close look. Awesome bit of detail, like the little poly count, or well, not the poly count, the little fine details. I like spinners, and I, after you stop using it, it still has that momentum and it gradually so out. So, rather than just stopping, on the dime, like you will get this other things like this. Oh, uh, yeah, I actually do like that quite a bit. So, and yeah, just show the hookup animation in proper one more time. So, there we go. Yep, attaches to that, got the hoses and all that goes into the tractor now. So, yeah, overall, nice little bit of kit. So, yeah, that is the Star Twister 1500, the mod I missed. So, starting off with our mods on Wednesday, we're looking at the Artmaster 2K24 pack. This is by Vanquish081, 6.42 megabytes to download. And yeah, essentially, this is a pack of four little productions that can get you stones, or sorry, lime, fertilizer, pig food, and two mix rations. Slot counts are as following, so the lime Rock Crusher line production is 7 slots. The fertilizer production is 8 slots. Pig food production is also 8 slots. And the Mix Master TMR producer now is 10 slots. And yeah, there is 17 color options. i have going to our production so you can see you can get your line from a little bit of stone and water. You do lose a, a little bit of stone, but overall, it's not too bad. For your solid fertilizer production requires manure, surrey and stone. It's primarily manure and a little bit of surrey and stones. And that is reflected in the capacities, capacities in that. I will look over that in a sec. Pig food is an interesting recipe. All it just requires is potatoes, wheat and water. So no like sorghum or anything like that. No sugar beet and that. So overall it's actually not too bad. Yeah, it's not the most largest of productions. It's very fast through the throughput. Uh, all these being 12,000 cycles per month. And you get uh, over 10, 150, or 100 years, respectively. And going to the TMR, that requires straw, hay, 
Silage, mineral feeds, and water. So yeah, looking at the mix master, so your TMR production, the capacities are 25,000 litres for the straw, 35,000 litres for the silage and hay, 4,000 litres of mineral feeds, and 1,000 litres of water. So yeah, that is a one-to-one -one ratio. Similar with the pig food at 12,000 litres and all that. So the capacities are 20,000 litres for potatoes, 5,000 litres for the water, 1,000 litres of water. And yeah, also all the outputs are 20,000 litre capacity. For your fertilizer master, the capacities are 20,000 litres for the manure slurry and 1,000 litres of stone. And uh, similar to the stone crusher, it is 20,000 litres of stones and 5 thousand liters of water but yeah overall actually these are quite nice it was a bit of a pain setting up and that's because it's got two different inputs so this input here is your water and for all your sods and that going in that does require going at the top so you need a loader of sore gnats or things like for your tmr the bells and that a loader and that with a pitchfork or bell grab whatever you choose or if you want, you can use something like these, the Global Goods Transport Palette by A2 Studio. Match yourself in there and just simply offload it. But anyways, you'll find this under your build mode, under productions, go towards the end. And as you can see, so yeah, all these are 7, 8, 8 and 10 slots, respectively. All goes down to 1. And yeah, the TMR mixer is 27.5 grand. Your pig mixer is 22.5 grand. Fertilizer master is 19.5. And your stone crusher that is 12.5 grand. So, overall, relatively cheap in that. And all, yeah, so with all these, there are different color options. And there are 17 different color configurations if you want. But yeah, just show how you do the input. So I'm gonna look at our TMR and that. So a little minor note there. So I'm gonna set that to cell sec. And what I'm gonna do is skip ahead of time. Let this empty and start churning out again. And then we'll start putting some bin stuff in. So yeah, we'll put a bit of water, some bells and that in. So there we go, and instantly within the hour, that is producing like pretty much like 45 50,000 litres in that. And it says theoretically in a month, so 12,000 cycles in a month, you get 100 litres of TMR for one recipe in that. So that is theoretically 1.2 million litres a month. Unfortunately, you're going to need to keep this topped up constantly in that. But little things like, like to fill, fill up in that, like the mineral feed in that. It shows you like how fill it is and you can technically use the mineral feed as a gauge for everything else. Because everything else is perfectly balanced in terms of the capacities in that. But yeah, so I'm going to show the bells in that. So you can use a loader in that or whatever. Because I got the little bells. You can just go like bonk. Yeah, the trigger is up quite high, but it does have a bit of a wide berth. And what I'm gonna do is hop into our John Deere. And yeah, so this will be your inputs for your waters or your slurry, respectively. Depending on what production you're using, but just show off the water. Again, a pretty big trigger area, so. Because, yeah, like, first of all, when I was, like, setting this up, I was, like, going all around, figure out where in the heck you put stuff in, because I was absolutely struggling with this, so, but, yeah, after a little bit of teasing that, yeah, I figured it out, so, but, yeah, put this up, so you get your lime out like so, and let's look at our TMR, so over here because it's less than five percent we can fill up with tmr and there we go comes out of the pipe there 
gonna miss that little parkour jump there. Try to get on top of this. Try one more time. There we go. But yeah, so you can actually see your inputs now. And actually I do like the idea of like the animations of it filling up and emptying. Got a little electricity meter and that, little brief switches and that. But yeah, a lovely bit of kit. But anyways, that is the Art Rockmaster 2K24 by Vanquish081. Next, we've got the small renovated house. This is by Dimitri, if I'm pronouncing that right. 21.14 megabytes of download and yeah, essentially this is a farmhouse with a soup and clothing trigger. You can not enter the building. The slot count for this is 20 slots goes down to 1. And yeah, you'll find some build mode under farmhouses. Go towards the end. Yeah, no colour options or anything. 25 grand to place down. Not too bad. And daily upkeep is 20 bucks, dollars, euros, whatever you want to call it, a month. But yeah, again, nice little bit of the old sort of like Eastern European kind of vibe. Like a sort of like Polish or even like sort of like Eastern Eastern Europe with like the former like former USSR Soviet Union houses you'll see in like modern day or what's it like that via and all that stuff and that. But yeah, definitely got that sense of Eastern European vibe. Do love the brick and mortar work as always. Got a little side side dish. Even like the gutter right now, it's like little rusty gutters and that. But yeah, overall, at the end of the day, this is a farmhouse, but decent decent quality of details. And it does show like the wearing that and the building that and just everything about that. But yeah, so this is the small renovated house by Dimitri. Now for something a bit interesting. Well, we've got the plastic chair. This is by Sir Sim. 0 0.1 megabytes of download, two slots for console goes down to one. And yeah, essentially, this is a chair that you can lift, throw, but also actually have a functionality to it. So, back that down, enter said vehicle. Oh, didn't mean to throw that. I'm using the side panel here. And yeah, you can actually sit in the plastic chair. So you can enjoy the sun. But yeah, so... Yeah, under help menu and that, you can't, nothing, so there's no like turn engine on or anything like that. But yeah, just simple, cozy up on your chair, watch the sun go by, watch your crops grow in, or, or just whatever you want to do. And yeah, it's about time you had something like this on Farm Sim. It took a while, it took like, what was it, three years now, whatever it is, FS22's been out. And yeah, so you can find this under tools and miscellaneous. Yeah, it took me a while to look for this, but yeah, if I looked on the mod, I'd be out with a fun straight away. But yeah, only £25 that to buy. It weighs 5kg, so it is a bit of a heavy plastic chair, 5kg, but that's more like 5 bags of sugar, that is. Uh, she's saying that 5 bags of sugar and that. A few things I'll say these plastic chairs weighs less than that in real life, but there's that, so. For example, just whack into like, your farmhouse here. I know it doesn't really quite go with the vibe in that. And actually, what you can do is just place it as close as you want. And there we go. Sat at the table, you can have your little meal on that. And you can tap to it, because like, it does classify it as a little vehicle in that, in a way. But yeah, overall, it's actually not too bad. So, that is the... Oh yeah, plastic chair by Sir Sim. Yeah, all awesome bit of kit. Definitely model of the day. Yeet. But yeah, plastic chair now by Sir Sim. Next. Now we got the Massey Ferguson 30 despite Ada Modern ABP team featuring BSM. 3.86 megabytes to download. Slot count is 5 slots goes down to 1 and essentially this is a four meter working with cedar and that so you'll find this under tools under cedars and yep there it is go towards the end and yeah 4600 so very 
sheep and that. Again, some more suitable for like, your small farms than that. But yeah, this space around the late seventies and into the late early seventies into the late nineties. So if you're on like a vintage farming series and that, like what I'm doing with vintage survival, this will be a handy bit of kit in that. So color configurations, you've got everything. So your main color changes the main body color. And you've got like Tiffany blue and that, or so like kind of like a toothpaste color and that. Design color first one, so select cone orange, and that's going to be your rims. Your second design color, so select yellow, and that's going to be like your hub in that. And I'm guessing the white that is going to be for the actual seed and bit elements, so yeah, the red. And yeah, you got your little furrows in that. But yeah, so it's a simple cedar and that does your basic green crops, canola, soybeans and that. Along with grass and all seed radish. Yeah, first of all, do love the colour now, especially when it's brand new now, like that bright, massy red and that. But anywho, we'll go and back this up. Three point linkage and that. There is no light or anything like that with this. But yeah, so we'll lower it. And yeah, L1 left, left on D-pad opens and closes your cover. And that is it, so we'll turn it on. And there we go, we are drilling. The rules actually not too bad, like sort of how it sort of flows with the ground and that. But yeah, at the end of the day, it's a very simple cedar and that. Don't have all like the high tech springs or like the electronic gears moves and that. At the end of the day, it does need to do the job it's required. And overall, in terms of like the sea consumption that, getting it's like with a lot of cedars that you'll have in that, in terms of the small ones and that. Helps you if you actually stick to the field in that. But yeah, overall, it's actually not too bad now. Like, consumption, yeah, it's not too bad, but compared to like the Case and John Deere, like five or six meter ones, that uh, is a bit of a two behind. Rather than a three point linkage, yeah, very similar consumption rate, so again, not too bad. Yeah, if I do another season of Vinci Survival, this may be something I'll be using that, but. Regardless, drop that down, turn you off. But yeah, overall, nice little bit of kit. Definitely recommend it. But yeah, it makes that is the Massey Ferguson 30 by AD, ADOM modded ABP team featuring BSM. Next. Now for the Agrimas PO 5XL, this is by CACPO, 2.77 megabytes to download. Slot count is 6 goes down to 1, and essentially this is a 5 for a plow or 2.5 meters. Requires 150 horsepower, weighs, oh no, sorry, costs 10,000. Let's get out of the little bush in that. But yeah, you can obviously lift and fold and rotate, like with any other plow. Yeah, love the love the detail. And as you see it is multicolor options, but let's get to that. So you'll find this under tools under plows. Go towards near the end. And yeah, for your wheel setups, you got your standard Treadborg AW 305s, your Mitas Flow well FL02, Treadborg, Treadborg, Treadborg again, and back to standard. So yeah, you got your like chunky tires. Or like your more like narrow tires than that. Make her option. Got all your base game palettes than that, along with a very shades of reds, greens, and apparently that's green. Very thin green. I think it's more of a golden brown than that. But let's go over the life side green. That changes the actual furrows themselves. Your design colour, let's go with a nice hot pink. That changes in that. And then your room colour is your room colour, basic colour palette of that, so orange, there you go. 
But yeah, weighs 1.6 tons, 150 horsepower required, working speed of 7 miles an hour. But yeah, so show rotating all that. Now if you want now to create fields or not, as always with clouds and that. But anyways, let's get it off underway. And we are ploughing. I think at the end of the day, it's, it's very similar. Do we have this base game? Yeah, we do have a base game, but it's 6,000 cheaper than that. Requires 10 less horsepower. And actually, the fact that you got multicolor options. So you've got like a particular brand of farm, where it's John Deere, Fend, New Holland, or whatever tractor brand you insert here. And that you can customize and colors not to suit it so that does have it going for it as well being 6,000 cheaper compared to the base game that ain't too bad that 6,000 cheaper now especially for starting like you're running the convention farm that small farm that 6,000 can go a very long way but anyways that is the Agrimas Po 5 XL by CAC or Case PO, CAC PO, not sure how you pronounce that, I do apologize. But yep, yeah, awesome beer kit. It just has that added color options. Regardless, let's head on to our next mod of today. We've got the Lizard T27 1. This is by Poisecap. 7.61 megabytes to download. Slot count is 7 goes down to 1. And at the end of the day, this is a 2.7 meter disc arrow. And yep, yeah, you find this under tools and disc arrows. Go towards the end. 5 grand to purchase. 80 horsepower requirement. 588 kilograms. 2.7 meters and a working speed of 9 miles an hour. And as you go in, you got worn stickers. No or yes. So, got your still stickers on the side. Now for your roller, so this, the, these little things on the back, so you got one or two and back to one, so different kind of thrashers and that. And now for your main colour, so first of all the main colour changes the actual frame itself. And your design colour changes all the little rollers and that, little discs and that. But yeah, overall nice little bit of kit, so I'm hop into our fence here get this hooked up and yeah so no other things to do now so lower it and the off the way we go and at the end of the day this is a well pretty much a 3 meter cultivator but another 2.7 meter cultivator but yeah overall nice little animations and that do like that raise it and it rolls to a stop up again. Hey, overall, nice little big kids. Not much else to say about it, so we'll go and drop you. Turn the engine off. Yeah, a little close inspection. Overall, it's not too bad. At the end of the day, it's very simplistic. Again, yeah, it's nothing too special on that, but again, don't mind new mods on that, especially the drought of most recently so a 3 meter cultivator or 2.7 meter cultivator technically a disc arrow but regardless I will take them so yeah this is the Lizard T27-1 by Poisecap next we've got the Union Cross L Drive this is a basically a 3 meter cultivator this is by JMC and Scout or Scout E39 6.62 megabytes down low, slot count is 5, goes down to 1. So, yeah, it says, yeah, 3 mirror, work with power requirement of, it says on the mod hub, 140 kilometers km. But I think it's miles per hour. Maybe 140 horsepower net. Cost 15,700 to buy different configurations, so. Yeah, so you've got under tools and cultivators. Go towards the end, 50,700, weighs two and a half tons, and yeah, 140 horsepower, premium work with, and 
eight miles an hour. So, in terms of configurations, you got old and new. See so a bit more modern that, bit of more brighter paint. Support wheels, no or yes. So gonna be these on the front. So yeah, these will help with kind of things like transporting that and maneuver around. And you got your wind chair, so yes or no. So yeah, just a little bit at the end of the little fur plow bits underneath. But yeah, overall, first impressions is very good. Yes, free mirror cultivator that. But yeah, so I love the little bit of detail, got springs and all that, so three point linkage. There we go, look it up. So yeah, you do have option to fold and unfold. And all that does is just raises and to the rest of the actual cultivator in the way with the wheels and that. So that's going to be transport mode. And fill mode ready is that. And then drop it. And then also with the help menu here. So L1, right stick up and down, raises and the rest of the support wheels. Nothing else. Further ado, let's head into the field. The rules are actually not too bad. I'll do the little details with the cold bear net. Like how it just goes very smoothly over all the terrain nets. Turns with turnability, not too bad. Easy turning radius. Not on the dive, but at the end of the day, it's not too bad. And yeah, really something like this, you wouldn't be doing with a cold later in real life and that. You would raise, go to the end, well, once you get to the end, raise, turn around and that. So otherwise, be like Jeremy Clarkson and, yeah, be straight as a fucking roundabout. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, another three meter cold later. But yeah, it's a nice little bit of kit. Do love the little details and that. But yeah, just very good details. All say move randomly. But regardless, that is the Union Cross L Drive by JMZ and so I'm gonna say Scout E39. I two portraits if I got that wrong. Regardless, next. Now for something a little bit different, but not too much different at the same time, depending on what you're going with in terms of what we just looked at. This is the Lemkin pack. This is by ITS and Alex Norgler. It is 54.278 weeks to download. And yeah, essentially this is a pack of cultivators. And yeah, it says the Lemkin pack is now being converted and modernized for FS22. And you've got different sort of models now. You've got the Dolomit 9, 3 and 4 meters. That is going to be your subsoilers here so have a look at those and the subsoilers here they are three slots each then also you got your zircon 12 so that is is it these here i think yeah zircon 12s and that they are six meters and they could be like your power hours and that because yeah they've got a little linkage there and that yeah, there's also like another little output PTO shaft or a female PTO shaft there, but yeah, I've tried to get this hooked up and that to other bits of equipment and yeah, just overall it wasn't working in that. But also with the Dolomit 9s and Axi, you hook up on this side and you can hook up to like another drill now, I'm guessing. We'll have a little test of that. Then that's compactor KS. Yeah, this could be your like your cold bears and that, but regardless, so you'll find your subsoilers, so it's gonna be the little doy mitts here. Seven thousand and eight and a half grand respectively. And you get a three meter and four meter subsoiler. Works at seven miles an hour, seven hundred and fifty kilograms, nine hundred and fifty kilograms respectively, a hundred and a hundred and fifty horsepower requirements. And configurations for these are exactly the same. So you got your design, so you got your lemkins or none. Main colour, all the basic colour palettes, so if it is a lemkin that you can change your colour. So your main colour is the main frame 
and design color is the actual plow bits. Let's do any other branded if you're using those. Next, we're going to head on to your power arrows. And yeah, this is where you got your Zircon 12s. And this ranges from a 4 meter up to a 6 meter. And yeah, horsepower carbon is 200 to 4E for the 5 meters and 280 for the 6 miles an hour. And also, with these, you got the exact same ones here, but the difference is got a normal base version and a drive liner version. And yeah, this is part of another mod that you can use, which I have installed. Which is the, fuck it, up here, the E drive liner. So yeah, it's going to be things like leaving like tram lines and that in the field, basically. I am not an expert at this, I have not used this before, but I have got this working roughly. And I know a couple of people, including CP, had had issues with uh, with the other cultivator and that, we're going to be looking at in a sec, that had issues with, but yeah, we'll get to that in a sec. But regardless, back to our tools, and go to our cultivators, and this is where you got your compactors, S300 and 400. These are 7 slots on console, goes down to 1, so 3 meters respectively, 9 miles an hour, 2.5, 2.8 tons. And yeah, really, looking at those two, I don't really see much of a difference, really. And this has meant to be a 4 meter and that looks, does it look bigger than that? Maybe bigger, I'm not sure how exactly, but regardless, so uh, we'll set up, you've got your light ground, light ground, or light medium ground, and your medium, so, or medium heavy, sorry. Heavy ground and back to your light ground. So this adjusts your your rollers and that you're using on the field, depending on the soil type and that in real life. This does make sense that because different soils and that has like a little difference of firmness and that. Your design color, so you got your duck foot harrows. Oh sorry, gamma harrows, duck foot shares and that so yeah, this is extremely adjustable now, depending on what you want. Then at the front, you got your track loosener, none or yes. And all that does is just add a little like, cultivator bits there, where it helps start to loose the soil and that with the tracks and that. And main color option, so you got all your basic color palettes, along with a lemkin blue as well. So you just select red, so the main color is going to be the main attacher on that, so the track loosener and your linkage pipe. Your first design color, let's go with the purple, is the main body itself. And then lastly, go with a nice hot pink, your third color option, or second, no sorry, your rim color here is going to be actual rims, and that will change the rims, and the roller bits now in the middle. Doesn't change at the back of that. Yeah, just going through the setups and that of what they look like. And we already oh, I like that, like that kind of configuration colours and that. I actually quite like that. But regardless, so moving on from that, you've got your compactor 600s or K600 and KA600s. These are 12 slots on console, goes down to 1. Yeah, essentially at the end of the day, these are, yeah, it's exactly the same, just normal cultivators and that, same horsepower requirement, difference in weight. Well, it does say with these, it does recommend a 1 to 2 ton front weight. Then as we move up, let's see, we've got your compactor KA600 with a 3 point linkage attachment at the rear, so... You'll use this, and this is a 6 meter working width. So, this requires, like, things like the Lemkin 6 meter planter and that, but I've got that all set up ready. And configurations are all exactly the same as we just looked at. And main color, so that'll change your main body here, like so. And a nice hot pink, and that would change your rims. 
just showing off the different wheel subs and that. And also, lastly, you got your C pipe. So you got a sink track C pipe, or just a normal standard C pipe. So at the end of the day, it doesn't do anything. It just adds a bit of realism. That depends on what you're using that. But regardless, so that's all this here, and now we're going to test each individual section. So first of all, let's go and test the sub sorter and that. So let me grab that and a cedar now, a sec. So there we go, we've got a planter here. And yeah, this will sink up in that, and yeah, it's slightly big in that, four and a half meters in that. With the three mirror option, again, you've got no issues with that, but let's quickly fill that up. And fill up with the furrows on that, if you can. Okay, it's a bit of a pain in the ass, so you know what, screw it. Yeah, so we'll tap over to the subsoiler itself, so you can just subsoil now, you don't have to drill at the same time. But if you're using something like this, having a drill behind would make the most sense. So first of all, let's go and detach you. And yeah, got subsoil in action. And if you raise it up, you have a look, so you've got different options and that, so yeah, raise hydraulic hitch and that. I'm pretty sure it's not the tractor, right? No, it's not the tractor. I guess it's maybe for the drive leaner and that. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, R1, right stick, left, right. Raise and over those. Up and down with the right stick and that. With R1, nothing. L1, R1, Nothing there. And L1. Yeah, right stick up and down. Left to right. Wasn't that? Yeah, that makes sense there. But yeah, I'm not too sure on that, but further. So, to get you hooked up. So, what you'll do is zero that. Then you'll lower your drill. Ah, no, this is it, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, this is it, so... This is where the combo key bit is, and this is with and without the dry learner and that, so... Right stick, up and down, brings the actual cedar itself forward and back. So yeah, there we go. Then L1, right stick, ah, there we go, so... Yeah, you can go really crazy in that, so that's L1 and right stick, left to right. And then right stick up and down, just changes that pivot there. Man, that's crazy as that is. That is extremely detailed. But yeah, it's got a fine, sweet spot. And there we go. Got a spot. And we're subsoiding and grilling at the same time. And yeah, of course, you can put, uh, what's it, the fertilizer in here and that. And you can use like the Denkin tanks or other tanks that to add a bit more seeds or fertilizer to the front. But yeah, overall it's not too bad, like sub that. Look at the horsepower. That is 150. And answers in that. So yeah, 300 horsepower this is. So yeah, it does require a bit of horsepower at the end of the day. And the day is getting the job done, so. Yeah, very handy bit of kit. Yeah, it's going to be the same for everything else, so I'm not going to go over everything, but I'll go over the 6 meter one with the drive lane, or that drive lane, or whatever it is. Yeah, head over here, so. that loose in a bit. But yeah, let's go and grab the power arrows and that. And yeah, it looks like it says, oh, we've got to put something on the back, by the looks of it, because it's got a, that female P2 shaft in that. And yep, yeah, so, what are those? So, R1, right stick left to right. 
that raises and lowers try to get the camera angle like little bits in the middle there so that's like what we just looked at with sub swirling that and then right stick up and down raises and lowers the back roller so do that raise that up so yeah just about to see that and now one right stick in that yeah, and I think that bit there is for the... Uh, tried it and nothing. And yeah, then L1, R1, right... Sorry, left stick, sorry. Up and down. Oh, sorry, left and right. Does the front section, so... Yeah. We're here with the tunnel now. Again, it's just... The mind boggles that for me personally. That. Yeah, let's go and drop this. Turn the power power on. And there we go. And also, do have your bridge markers if you wish to use them. And yeah, how do you use your bridge marker size for things like tram lines and that? So, yeah, you can't use bridge markers with the e learners now, or e driver, or whatever it is. This is what they are. What I want to do is get to the end and just do a quick test with the Bridge markers. So you've got 10, this is the field. There we go. And I think it's a case of if you line the nose of the cab to the tram lines or the bridge marker lines, then bingo. No more problems with getting lost in that. Yeah, overall, actually, I actually quite like that actually. Like just how it just gradually rolls to a salt once you salt power in it. Now let's go and grab something else before heading over to the 6 meter one with the 3 point linkage. So yeah, we just looked at the Dolomit 9. And I think that was the Zircon 12. Now this is going to be one of the Compactor K600 now. And yeah, the S versions of that. It's basically the same, just different work, work whips and that. But yeah, can fold and unfold. I do like that animation. And once that's unloaded. So, R1, right stick, up and down. Which changes the positions of the rollers and that. L1, R1, right stick, left to right. Does something on this left side here. It's a camera angle now. Yes, again, there's all the. Yeah, these bits here and that. And get nothing there. But what does is turn that down. Put it down. And yeah, rather than just a power hour, this is going to be your like, normal cold air and that. And head over to the field. There we go. Now you can actually see the cultivation differences in that. Yeah, not too bad, a little hand beer kit. Not missing anything, nope. Not too shabby, so raise that up. And yeah, like just the awesome bit of detail in all this and a little fine adjustments you can do. We have the three point linkage, so that's gonna be over here. And first of all what I'm gonna do is attach the drive e-liner and that so yeah I am not a professional and I've just got this vaguely set up so I'm gonna press R1 and this is gonna be I'm guessing your tram lines every so often so be a case of like depends on how like, wide you're going so turn off after 8 then I'm just going to adjust that on the back. So, yeah, that's going to be that orange marker there. Again, I'm not too familiar with this. And I think that's the position of. That's the position, I think. But, so, yeah, set that offset to like so. 
and that's going to be the distance. So all the way back or wherever, so I'm guessing it doesn't make a difference, so you should say there will do. And then yeah, you've got your adjustments for your, like, your monitor and that. Yeah, I've got it set up like that in the cab. And what I'm going to do is... Oh, sorry, for the just tank on the front. Like so. Then we'll back up into the actual mod we're looking at. So the compactor and that. KA600. Oh, pardon me. But yeah, again, it's very similar to what we just looked at, so... Yep, R1 rates to come down, does that with the rollers, does that with the middle with left and right on the right stick there. L1, R1, that adjusts the planter, now we'll look at in a sec. And then, yeah, nothing really there, I don't think. No, can't see no adjustments, so. No, wait a minute. Now I can adjust the sort of tilt angle, apologies there. That's what it is, so... Does that do anything on the display here? Nope. But you know what? Screw it, I'm going to hook this up. And yeah, this is what took me a few minutes to do, and... Obviously, I put it on where you don't turn off after every so often, so... you got tramline, 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 tramlines here and that. Yeah, the same with the ridge marker or anything like that. Yeah, this is where I saw Mr. CP struggling, so... Again, I just showed you what we did with the last one we looked at. I'll show it again. Let's get ourselves into a rough position. Like, so again, I'm not too worried about the positioning all that much. Then what we want to do is lower the cultivator. Lord Cedar. And in theory from there we should work now if I got it all set up. There we go, yep, got it all set up. But yeah, if you're not in line now, I think that's because I've got it already set up, so if turn that off and yeah, go back to our control, so we want go back to the compactor. And we want the drive laner adjustment, I think. It doesn't do anything like in the cab. Yeah, I don't know. Ah, there we go. That's what it is there, so... But again, like, how does this work? So... I'm going to see there and that, so... Bring it together and a bit more, right? Something like that. You know what? F screw it, let's go all the way back. And yeah, I do apologise if this is annoying anyone who actually knows what they're doing with this. Go back to the first option. And yeah, again, this is where you can adjust the cold cultivator like so. Go boom, 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 and all that, so... We want it just lower it ever so Fury should be fine. Okay, we're not drilling there because I am lowered the actual cedar on that. Now we're seeding that. And what I'm just going to do is set it off on a worker. So, this is what I did without doing too much looking at. Now, let's see how it performs with this, with this rough setting. So yeah, I want to see what these little struggle bits do in that, because, yeah, I have not used the uh, drive liner in that, or whatever it is called. So yeah, it's actually going to be interesting to see, so bear with me a sec whilst I'm going to just let the worker continue on with this. So, right, yeah, I left this run for a while in that, and yeah, I just cannot master the either in system. I thought it turned off over here in that, when it did this strip over here. Not drilling anything in, but yeah, by the looks of it, I'm not sure now. Yeah, there's like little strips here and there where it hasn't done any little side marks now or tramway marks. I don't know to be honest. 
don't know what I'm doing wrong, but yeah, there's a bloody hour of wasting on that. To the point now, through these balls that's dropped, so what I'm going to do is do the rest of the mods we've got for Tuesday, which is the Chrome ZX, the VQR platform, and the Zeal 131. And then next, what I'll do is download the mods for today, put them in this video, and it's going to be three days of mods in one. But yeah, anyways, this is the Lemkin Pack by It's and Alex Norgler. Next. And we've got the Chrome ZX Pack. This is by HITHD. It is 58.76 megabytes to download. And essentially, this is a pack of four Forged Wagons. So, first of all, you'll find these under Tools and Forged Wagons. Go towards the end. So yeah, we've got four chromes here. So we've got the ZX430, 470, 470, and 560. All of these are 13 slots for console. And yeah, like these two 470s, these are different weights than that. 11.6 and 12.8 tons, but apart from that, nothing else. And yeah, we've got the ZX430, that's 43,000 litres, 47 and 56,000 litres. All the configurations are the same. So, Will Brand, we've got Trailborg, Missions, BKTs, First Line. And yeah, these are basically standards and wide tyres. Next, we've got the discharge pole. So, it's going to be this on the back. So, if I get the camera angle turned around, so zoom in. There we go. See, so yeah, that's your normal. Got your GD2, GD3, and just your normal GL. Then, the flaps, you got the old GL. Or GD. And that's going to be at the back. Yeah, actually, not sure. I can't see what's changing in that actually. So I thought it was on the back. Is that front? No, I'm not too sure on that. What was that? But anyway, so reflectors, yes. Yes, two, three, four, five, or none, just different than that. Now you've got your covers, yes or yes, two different covers than that. No, oh, it is just a more of a tinted, and I will talk about that because there is an issue with that. Slow so charge to the tanks, yes or no. Now go on the front there, license plate in that. So I've got one empty. That's going to be using for the forging testing, but yeah, if we have a look, so we'll see there on the top, it's clipping through, so it's going to need an update, but yeah. Anyways, L1, left on D-Pass, going to turn it on, or open, open the clues cover, what you lower, turn it on that. And then R1, right stick up down, just raises and lowers the wagon. So it'll be it's just charging for the one pile. I actually like how that comes out actually. I do prefer those. And yeah, I think these other two's got the different doors on, so I'm gonna show the unload of the different doors. And this one. Just the pile up. And lastly, we've got this one over here. Just going to hook you up. But yeah, they're like clipping on the roof now. That's probably going to get fixed in an update net. You can unfold it with the cover on or off. But yeah, so we're just see the different doors. Ain't really too much out of it, just more of an a aesthetic thing. But we've got this one here with Slash Additive. 10 litres and let's do a little test. We've got a huge swath of grass over here. And see how much it uses. So, let's get it using that in the wall right now. Fair enough. Decent pickup now. Like, this is like a huge swath of that. And it's having no issues picking this up. 
bit is actually even bits on the side now, but to be honest, this is like, I think like three or four swaps into one. Yeah, pulling power on that, yeah, you are affected by the weight, of course. Maybe it's not too bad on that side, it's not affecting the steering wheel that. I need to find a raise up in that. Gosh, no, it's going to be more of a now, because I'm working in practice, but... Yeah, absolute nothing. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of effects of late, but overall, ain't that bad. It's sort of it coming out, I like, so... That's a nice little bit of kit. But yeah, always got a side right here, that gives you that extra 5%. So I guarantee if we go over this again, we're going to fill this up to the top, right? And then have some left over. Oh yeah, it looks like that, so we can go over this. Oh yeah, because I was going to the social additive now, you get that extra 5%, so you just have to, what, 9,000 euros on the ground or so, give or take. So yeah, overall's not too bad. But yeah, so. Also, I did forget to go over the prices of these, I do apologise there, so. Yeah, prices are pretty expensive in that, I'll admit. So 100 grand, 120, 130, 151 grand. All working speed on 10 miles an hour. Similar-ish in tons of weight. So 240 horsepower for the bigger one, 210 for the medium ones, and 190 for the small ones. So apologies for going go over that. But anyways, that is the Chrome ZX pack by HIH. HD next. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is go be a quick fire on our last two mods of Wednesday before going to the new mods for Thursday. But yeah, so we got the VQR platform, this is by Vanquish81, Ryan Christie One, and VS Modding Sir. 5.03 megabytes to download. Slot count for this is I haven't got it in my notes, so what I'm gonna do is I have a quick look, so I'll go to all these items and that. Not missing any yes, no doers. And that is three slots goes down to a one. So yeah, you'll find this other tools and no loaders. Twenty grand to buy, five point nine tons. Yeah, five slots go down to one. Oh yeah, this ain't a auto loading trailer or anything like that. Got options for door flaps or no, or door setup. Wheel configurations, there's a standard, continental wides, trailboard wides, mission wides, looking wides, and back to continental standard. So your chassis colour, so that's actually the chassis. Then your main colour is going to be your body in that, design colour, so select orange. That's going to change the little panels or whatever on site. And then lastly, you got your rim colour. So yeah, it's not much to shout about. Our Volvo here. See, so yeah, it's going back. Lights on. Left indicator. Right indicator. There are like light, little lights on the side. Does have a lot of tension straps, so whatever you got on ain't going anywhere. And if you got the door set up, what you can do is press L1 next. That just drops these little doors down. Tension belts on and off. And this can hold potentially 30 large bells of ease. Maybe a couple more on the back, another set of three on the back. But yeah, in terms with the strapping height with these large bells, I was able to get three bells stacked to four fold strap on, so just a thing to know. But yeah, it's not an also loading trailer or anything like that. Which does the job what it needs to do. Yeah, pulls right, not too bad. Just make sure you're not missing anything else. Nope. So yeah, that is the VQR platform trailer by Vanks81, Ray Christie, VS Mod and Sir. And we'll head to our final mod for Tuesday. Or Wednesday, sorry. For our final mod on Wednesday, we got the Zild 131. This is by AB Jarvis1, and it's their first mod on the mod hub, as far as I can tell. 
And yeah, essentially, this is a pack of a old, I like to say, like Soviet trucks now, especially with some writing on this. But yeah, sorry, Eastern European Soviet trucks from the good old day of communist Russia and that, or Soviet Union. But yeah, it's 63.77 megabits to download. So yeah, a bit on the high side, but to be honest, it's worth it in that. So yeah, we've got three trucks here, so we go into our trucks. So yeah, your 131 here, that is 18 slots. The B version is 17 slots, and the APC is 19 slots. We also got a trailer, which we'll look at in a sec, so the APC is your liquid transport, so you got your water mill, fertilizer, fuel, and yeah, your fertilizer will do the fertilizer and herbicide. Also you got insulation with and without, so that's going to be that for the front grill. Tools, yes and no. So yeah, that's going to be in the cab, so you got your like your paper rolls, and what's that like? A jack and that, like, yeah, jack, toolbox, and an axe, I think, or a hammer. Main color, all are exactly the same. Got blue, sandy yellow, red, gray, one. And design color, exactly the same. And that will change the color of your tanker. For your B version, which is the just a normal fifth wheel hitch semi trailer version. Do you have insulation at the front? With and without tools, so that's going to be inside again. Main color is everything. Then for that story, your truck, whatever you want to call it, so you've got a trailer, so this will be like a bell and pallet trailer. 7,000 litres or 10,500 litres. Just put that back on like that. With and without insulation at the front. Tools, yes and no, in the cab. Main color is the actual cab. Design color one is going to be your body. And that's going to be for these little bits on the side of the covers and that. Like the hinges and that for the doors, I think, actually. And yeah, for your trailer, color of the configuration is going to be the same. And yeah, it's basically based on the grain trailer we've got. So yeah. This was say about being Russian or Soviet because that is Russian writing. And how about yeah. One other thing is how I got past mod hub testing for an English. Well, because yeah, playing this on in English, yeah, there are translations of that from mods and that. I knew that for a fact, but yeah, in that so but yeah, seven and a half and ten and a half thousand years. And does this pull the light test? But yeah, so here it's starting up now. I'll show you set with the fifth foot one. But yeah, ten and a half thousand years of light. It will get up speed eventually, but it's gonna take a while to get there now, and to be honest, we are carrying light. And so yeah, you got lights. So stop. Left indicator, right indicator, lights, and like your high beam is a little spot right there. Unloaded, left, right, and so. So we tip side left. Decent discharge rate, to be fair. Do lots of hydraulics. And now for tip side right. It's going to tip like so. Now on to the semi version, so we're going to go into cab for this one here, so... Got lights. And yep, yeah, so we've got to see our tools, so yep. Yeah, paper towel, pliers, a little oil or fuel can, hammer, and a toolbox. Actually, I'll turn the engine off a sec, and I'm just going to... Like, I should turn it on and turn it off, not to speak, because yeah, I do love the sound of this. Now I'm going to turn it off. And that is absolute noise, but yeah, L1R1 will add nothing else. 
But yeah, this is without a load in there, and you can see, it does have a little struggle to get up and go now, but at the end of the day, it's like an old, old Soviet truck, so you can expect to go to 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. Or 1.9 seconds as fast as a Red Bull F1 pit stop and that, but yeah, overall, it's not too bad in that. Decent turn in that. Also, these do have inches on the back, so you can attach to the other trailers in that. Horn. Not too bad. Now for the liquid tanker, so yeah, at the end of the day, same as the others. And you can't just automatically dump it, you gotta dump it into a cell point or whatever. But yeah, what else we got this? Try hooks up to the trader. Nope. Not straight, we'll grab a tractor now, so we're gonna grab a Yule. Yeah, I was gonna test that fifth wheel on upper, but I know for a fact it will struggle to get going now. But once it gets going, it's fine, it's just that initial momentum. And I imagine here will be a bit of a problem. Anyways, we've got a trailer, so lights, left indicator, right indicator. Tip side left. Same as the uh, trailer version of this. Tip side right, and so on. And that is all for most for Tuesday covered. Now bear me a sec whilst I get. Oh, sorry, Wednesday. <laughs> now bear me a sec whilst I get all the mods set up from today. And for our new mods on Thursday, we're going to look at some updates quickly. So, first of all, we've got the Volvo FH16 sign pack, change log 1.0.0.1, adjustments to the shop description for better understandability, adjustments to the coupling animation, bull bar collisions have been added, and we recommend purchasing a new package. So, you've got that. Firstly, they recommend offsetting it and then repurchasing it. Then we got our Lizard DX130, change log 1.0.0.1, fix issues with dumping on the ground. Next we got the Bison Gigant, change log 1.3, added mold configurations to the Z061, Z083, change front tires and rim model, improve sounds, improve textures and visuals, and swap simple IC support for interactive control, compatible with interactive control, which is a PC only mod thing. But yeah, so these are downloaded. Let's get these mods in and look at our free mods for Thursday. And also, yeah, we do have a FS14 rebuild map. And this is by a big pop on that. I'm not trying to get around to doing the map tour on that. I may do it next week and that, or over the weekend and that. But yeah, by a big pop 84.69 megabytes to download. And there is a required mod of the farm building station by Juga Dim. And this basically is a FS14 mobile game map, and it requires a mod. The fucking irony in that, but yeah, not sure about that. Again, may look at this map over the next couple of days. But at the moment, map tours I've missed on this and the Giants Island one. It does a race shout to me at the moment, but I'm still going to do the map tours. Just swamped, need to get this place done. But anyways. Let's look at our three new mods for today. So here we are looking at our three mods for Thursday. And first of all, we're looking at the excavator and front loader mineral grab. This is by JGW modding, 1.67 megabytes to download, and this is 12 slots on sorry, no, two slots on console. And yeah, you'll find this under front loader. So we go to our tools and front loaders or front loader tools and somewhere at the end we've got our excavator and front loader mineral grab so yeah 12 slots goes down to one 3200 by three and a half thousand liters 
And yeah, it's a manure grab, so it only does your grass, hay, manure, silage, chaff, and straw. And yeah, design, so you got your front loader with the linkage there. And got your excavator attachment, like so, for an extra 500. Mm -hmm. Main colour is all the basic base game colour palettes, that's the actual main frame itself. Mm -hmm. And the forks or the tines are, well, these here. So yeah, let's go and to your front loader. Just going to put this up and yeah, got a little bit of pile of silage over here. So let's go and grab that. So there we go. So toggle the loader itself. Like so. Yeah, we can pick up a bit of silage. So with the front loader, obviously with the actual act like so. And we swap to the actual bucket itself. Obviously you can raise and over that. But you can like actually raise the actual hydraulics, so that's a thing to note. But yeah, L1 right stick left right, just that. Up and down closes it. R1 that does nothing, so yeah, just a little thing to be a note of. Let's go and grab it and yeah, so if you can use this for like bunker soils and that, you can spread this with chaff. That. But yeah, overall, at the end of the day, it's a nothing new grab. But again, nice little bit of detailing I've noticed. You know, it's just how it looks now, it looks slightly different to what we're used to now. But overall, at the end of the day, it does the same job in that. But regardless, that is the excavator and front loader mural grab by JGW Modding. Next, we've got the Brewery Fieldmaster 20. This is by Waffle and Agar Kadabra. 10.81 megabytes to download. And yeah, this is a sorry tanker, sorry spreader and that that needs one of these little discharger distributors and that. But anyway, so yeah, 10.81 megabytes to download. And you'll find this under sorry tanks. Go towards the end, and there you go. 120,000 to buy, requires 220 horsepower, 20,000 liters weighs 7.8 tons, and slot count is 12 goes down to 1, and carries surrey or digestate and work speed of 9 miles an hour. And when you press the combinations function, it brings these up. So, yeah, this boom here, I've tried this and it doesn't fit doesn't slide in far enough. Yeah, this one, no issues whatsoever, I don't think, because, yeah, it's not going to have issues with hooking up. But what I got done was, got the bigger one, so, go to our sorry tanks and that, and yeah, that's what it recommends, that one there, actually, not that one, sorry, that one there, 69 grand, but to be honest, I'm not sure you get away with the Borntex 4XL, but I went with the Samsung, just the biggest one, and yep, had no issues fitting. So, I must say, no issues with fitting. With the other one, it recommends if it's unfolded, then yeah, it's not going to be an issue. But yeah, so, actually, yeah, before we hook that up, let's look at the lights at the rear. Like so, I'll just have a little quick overall look around. And go indicators, left indicators, yeah, nothing there. But anyway, so it gets hooked up a sec, so just bear with me. And yeah, also you do have to pipe that out, so L1, right stick, left to right, brings the pipe out on that, so that's how you can fill it up from your story pit. And then right stick up and down. Just just as the little angle on that. And then right sorry, R1, right stick. Just raises and lowers the tanker itself. Let's get that folded away. Like so. There we go. And now it's getting hooked up. So yeah, we're gonna need a distributor in that, so got Samson here, costs the same much pretty much as this. And then 
yeah, let's go and drop this. And you've got the turn on, sorry to disappear now. And there we go, we are applying our fertilizer. And yep, as usual with Surrey's and that, Surrey tankers, does have a quite a bit of a discharge rate of oh, thrills, not too bad in that, inferior in that. But yeah, that comes with Surrey tankers at the end of the day, it depends on what you're using it for now. And like how big your fuels in that are. But yeah, it is doing the business. And if we just detach that a sec, let that flop down. Go and detach you. Yep, have a little quick look over. Do love the little bit of detailing on this. Like all the hoses and that, all the pipes and that. Just looks absolutely very detailed. Got a little light there on the top, at working light. But yeah, so that is the Brewery Field Master 20. And now we're here to our final mod of the day and get all these three days of mods done and dusted with. And for our final mods of the day, we've got the K Steiger 715 wheels. This is by Core Farms and Custom Modding, and this is basically the wheel version of their sort of like Steiger that they bought out recently now, or Custom Modding bought out recently. But yeah, so rather than costing like 1.1 million, this costs just shy of 900 grand for two slots for console, and yeah, download size is. 53.06 megabytes to download, and no surprise, you'll find this under vehicles and large tractors. So yeah, 897 grand initially. So on the board you've got your singles, 3 meter spacing, duels, duels and weights and all that. Under the lizard you've got your SWs, with weights, Ys, duels, and like absolute massive ones here. Like these are huge, so you got your triples of like your normal tires. And the first lines, you got your duels and weights and that. BKTs, duels, different rim sizes and wheel sizes. Like so, Midas, duels, different tire sizes and all that. Same with Continental as you expected. For your front option, so you got standard. A thousand kilograms, or sorry, a thousand pounds, two thousand two hundred pounds, rock box, one point one tons. Windows, you got your normal or light tint or dark tint. Your design, you got the US spec design, EU spec, and then lastly, your sort of Aussie oversize spec, like so. And now for your in cab monitor, so if you get the tint off, so you got your field viewer, precision for planting, precision planting and field viewer, real dashboard, field viewer and real dash or none, floor covering, you got none, cardboard or carpet, and back to default, exhaust, you got your normal, your rain cap, and back to default. Attachers at the rear, so you got your rear hitch, rear weight bracket, three thousand one hundred pounds of weight, four and a half thousand quick hitch, and back to rear hitch. But yeah, that is be a good thing to have for like bunker side of working out, I think. But saying that, have the quick hitch in that, and then maybe attach it onto the back of that. It's a bit better. But anyway, so yeah, fleet numbers that goes from standard. So none one, two, eight. And then that's so you got your Arcero Pro Compact with precision farming. And I say yes, that'll cost you another fifteen thousand, but you're expensive much money, so well, that makes a difference for colour figurations. So you got your keys red, black, silver, and let's go with a red leather, that's gonna be your interior. And room colour is your room colours and license plate. So yeah, I've got a couple of these here, so we'll go into the cab, turn on, absolute quiet. Not so much on the outside, but back onto the inside, so L1, triangle, 
Maar nu is dat klinkt zo goed. Like so. I'm back into the cab, so L1, right stick, the F2 right. Now that's going to change this bit here on dash to your field. Portrait general vehicle specs we want to look at. L1, R1, left stick, the F2 right, adjust as the chair. And then right stick, the F2 right, opens and closes that door. And then lastly, R1, right stick, the F2 right, I'm not sure what that does. Yeah, as long as I've got no idea, wait now. No idea, I've got different configurations I've had, I'm not sure what that means. But R1 and right stick up and down, that raises and lowers the steering. And yeah, same as with the other case of that. I just got to two hours, so I just go to top speed of 26 miles an hour, 27. But yeah, it actually holds itself really well. Horn. You can barely hear it on the outside. But yeah, overall, actually, this is very good to have. We have 42 slots on console. That goes down to. I didn't have a look, so I'm going to look now. Two, which makes sense. So, yeah, let's turn the engine off. So, yeah, nice little mold in that. Yeah, quite expensive as always it is, but it's definitely worth it for the power and all that. So, speaking of which, well, I forgot to go and over the power and all that. So, my apologies. Power is 778 horsepower, 2000 litres of fuel, weighs 23.8 tons. And top speed of 26, 27 miles an hour, give or take. And that is all the mods for today. Yesterday and Monday fully covered. Hopefully by the time this comes out, my Deadwood Guide 2 production video should be out. But that's taken forever to process 4K. So what I've got done with is upload another file of it and uploaded a smaller scaled quality video of it so we'll see off but anyways we've got five hearts here and all the mods and that as always hope you find these mod reviews helpful and informative in some way shape or form if so smash the button for the down below if you want to share some please be my guest if you're not subscribed channel yet then please consider but for to do hope you're nice but for now it's me farmer and voice stream and I'll see you all very soon.